Oh, hi everyone. Um, this is your first video on how to draw a transcription drawing. We're gonna be drawing from a famous painting that we selected out in class. If you were in class the last time, then you know uh, these first steps. You've already cut your paper and you've probably already are well into your drawing. But for those of you that missed the class or are starting over and forgot how to do this, I wanted to give you a little bit of a refresher. So the first thing to do is to print out um, in color the painting that you're going to be using if you don't already have a copy. Make sure that you don't crop the image at all, but that you use the entire painting. And then you're going to um, trim the edges so all you have is your painting to work from. You're gonna take an 18 by 24 sheet of paper if you don't have something even bigger. You're going to line at the bottom left-hand corner with the bottom left-hand corner of your white piece of, piece of paper. Then you're gonna take a straight edge, preferably a yardstick, but if you don't have one of those, you can do whatever you can find, anything that has a straight edge. And you're gonna take that straight edge and go through the bottom left-hand corner into the upper right-hand corner. This is kind of like magic, because this gets it in proportion to the painting. Boop, 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 boop. And so, boop. Yep. And then we're going to use, use a light pencil mark against my straight edge. Fingers crossed this all works out. Now my straight edge could have been a little bit um, clearer, a little wobbly. Didn't work at all. <laughs> I had to be. Look, stop right here, and then there's a big white piece, and then started right there again. All right, yeah, that's true. It should have been straight. Okay, oh, bingo. It went right through my corner. It so did. this. Are, no, but the, the line Extra. went from one Bingo. corner to the other. So this, my friends, is in proportion. Now, let me show you an example of where it's not in direct proportion. So it's more square. Check this out. Your painting is more square. It is not in perfect proportion like mine was. You line up that bottom left-hand corner. You make sure it's along straight, the edges on the bottom left-hand. The whole corner is lined up. You take your straight edge. Actually, make it a little more, um, turn it so that it's, you want it to be um, the rectangle the same. If it's a landscape shape, more horizontal, you want to line it more horizontally. And if it's more vertical, you want it to be more vertical. So I'm going to line it up and I'm going to go through that corner again. And I'm going to, oops, watch out guys. Boom. This is where the magic happens. Guys, can you can you make the magic noises? Too much noise. Okay, then note. I hit right here. I'm gonna take my straight edge. I'm gonna make a straight edge. Put it in the cookie song. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along here. And then I have created an image that is in proportion to my paper. Make sure, make sure that if your image is more horizontal, you line it up along a horizontal shape. And if it is more vertical, that you turn your paper and you line it up so that it is more vertical. Okay, I hope that explained that. 